Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at adding with the column addition method, whether it be large numbers, small numbers, or even decimal numbers. If uh, you practice your method, you'll be able to add any two numbers or even more numbers together. So here's a sum that I've got and I've laid out correctly for you. Can You can see that all the columns are uh, lined up together. We've got tens, units, hundreds, and thousands. Okay. And all I need to do is I need to start on the right hand side, just here. So I need to do 9 add 2, which gives me 11. Okay. So I put my 1 in my units column. Okay. And then I need to carry that 10 that's left over into the next column. Okay. So now I have 1, 3, and 4, which is going to give me a total of 8. So I write that one down underneath the 10s column there. You can see that all of them are lined up. Then I have 4 plus 8, which is going to give me 12. I write the 2, the units part, in that column there, and I carry the next 10 over to the next column, which gives me another 1. 1 plus 5 equals 6. 6 plus 7 is going to give me 13. Ah, but I have no column here on my left-hand side. I have no column here. So basically all I'm going to do is write my answer just like that. So there you go. It's very easy. Uh, as long as you remember to carry your numbers over to the next column if the answer is greater than 10. But what to do if you've got some decimal numbers? Okay, You're not always going to be able to line up your columns. Okay, So the most important fact to remember here is to line up your decimal points. Okay, You can now see that my decimal points are above and below each other. And a little tip to remind you is to fill any empty columns with 0 just so that you know that you have all of your columns lined up now. 8 plus 0 is going to give me 8, because I'm starting from the right hand side. 3 plus 0 is going to give me 3. 4 plus 7, okay, well 4 tenths plus 7 tenths is going to give me 11 or 1.1. So I need to put my 1 there, remember my decimal point, and carry the 1 over to the next one. 1 plus 7 is going to give me 8, plus another 1 is going to give me 9, and then 1 plus 4 is going to give me a 5. So there we go. Basically, at the start, I lined up my decimal point and lined up my columns correctly, and I filled all of my empty place, uh, em empty columns with a zero, just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Here we have some tips to remember. Start the column on the right-hand side of the question, okay, or else uh, you're going to get very confused when you're carrying numbers over to the next column. Number two, line up your columns or line up your decimal places. This is going to make it a lot easier for you to add up your numbers. Number three, Fill any empty columns with a zero, and that's going to help you um, add a lot easier because it's just something to you know make sure that you're doing it correctly. So good luck. I hope you find this video useful.